Hey guys, I want to go over measurements really quick before the takedown challenge starts just to make sure that we're all on the same page with that. It's really easy for people to be, you know, rushed and not do a really good job and it's really important that we do a good job and that we take our time so that we're accurate with our measurements. Now if you're not the only one in your gym that's going to be taking the measurements, make sure that everyone either watches this or you make sure that you've instructed them to do it properly, alright? We need consistency from the start to the finish. It's very, very key. Now, a few things that you need to know, just to remember, I cannot use quarter inch or three quarter inch measurements. So if you tell me someone is five, six and three quarters, I can't use that. I'm going to I'm going to pretend that they're five, six and a half. Okay? And if you give me a measurement at the abdomen that's at 34 and 3 quarters, I'm going to make that person 35 inches. So please, you do it. Go ahead and round up at the beginning of the takedown challenge and round down at the end of the takedown challenge. Not with their height, obviously, but do write yourself notes so that I know what you did and you remember what you did and you can be consistent again at the end of the takedown challenge. So for a female, we need her height, we need her abdomen, we need her hips, we're going to do her bicep, we're going to do her thigh, and we're going to do her calf. For a man, we need the height, we need the abdomen, we need his wrist, bicep, thigh, and calf. Now here's how you measure those places. The most important thing when you're doing a, I was going to say a female, but really anyone, is knowing that they're uncomfortable and knowing that if you're standing facing them or on, on sitting on a chair or whatever you're doing facing them, it's really uncomfortable for them because your face is in their body. So have them stand sideways or you get to their side so that they're to the side like this and your face is at their side. It's just a lot more comfortable for them. So we're going to do the, the abdomen first for a man or a woman. It will be at the level of the navel. Okay, make sure that the tape is straight on their body and that the, the tape is a little taut. They're not sucking in and they're not sticking out, but they're just like they're normally standing. They're going to suck in regardless. So, you know, just know that and maybe, you know, you, you decide how comfortable you are with asking them not to do that. And then for their hips, for a female, we're going to go with the widest point of the hips. Now this is not their hip measurement if they were going to buy pants, which is what they get confused on. So just tell them this is part of our formulation and this is what we need. Make sure again the tape is straight on their body and not sagging down, okay? So for a man, same thing, abdomen, we're going to do the wrist. We're going to measure right on that little bone that protrudes because we're looking for that man's bone structure. So most men will be about a 7 inch, but it will variation, there will be a little variation between 6 and 8. 6 being a very small man, small boned man, and an 8 inch being a very large boned man. And it's really important that you get that right because that has a lot to do with our body fat formulation for him. Okay, so be accurate with that. When you're doing the bicep, our gym tends to measure from the elbow up about four inches. Now, whatever number you use, inches, three inches, four inches, five, whatever you're comfortable with, the most important thing is you want to get the widest point. So, you know, they're, they're not going to make their muscle while you're doing it, but you want to make sure that you're consistent wherever you choose to measure. Your gym does it the same place every time. For the thigh, you might want to consider going about six inches up from the knee. That's usually what we do, and that's usually about mid-thigh, or where people carry their most amount of body fat. And then for the calf, same thing, the widest point of the calf. Remember, this is ideally where they're carrying some body fat, and we're trying to show them how many inches that they lost. And if we get parts of their body that aren't where they carry body fat, then we're not going to have that big wow factor at the end of the takedown challenge on how many inches that they lost. So, the most important things, no quarter inch, no three quarter inch on any measurements that you give me. And be consistent, take your time, and do a good job, and we'll see how great everybody does.